right, everybody, look at that. A particularly magnificent spot of a cheetah. Looks like a male to me. Not entirely sure. My very first Mara cheetah. And spotted by, well, a chap from uh, Kichwa Tembo, which is a camp just north of where we operate, Bengama Mara. And then I got spotted. Senzo, all the way from South Africa, KwaZulu Natal. He managed to spot the cheetah lying underneath that bush. It's a fantastic, fantastic sighting. Yes, I know it's not chasing a Thompson's gazelle right now, but maybe it'll get up and do that shortly. Isn't that good? It's quite far away from us, about 100 meters or so. And I mean, how you would see that with the naked eye, I just don't know. I mean, that really is impressive. And now, apparently, this is not a male, apparently, it's a female. And you can see there, now look at this, <laughs> look at the picture that Senzo was produced for you there. He's showing you how difficult, of course, it is to be spotting this creature. And now he'll zoom in to where it is. And I'm being told there's a vulture in the tree. Of course, there isn't a vulture in the tree, it's a heron. Uh, but uh, Kirsten will go through our, the bird list when, we get, when I get back. Cheetah is up. Oh, this is wonderful. Now, I'm sure Brent has mentioned this, but there is no kind of vehicle limit on the main roads in this area. So, I mean, we can follow her, but if we do, if she does start to move, it is quite possible that um, our view will be cut off by other vehicles. So just be aware, it is slightly different, of course, from the exclusivity that has afforded us in a place like Juma. The trade-off, of course, is space. What a magnificent creature you are, my dear. Now, we've yet to, of course, identify our cheetah characters out here, or, or not all of them, certainly. And I don't know if this is a similar one or the same one that Brent saw hunting. Oh, this is just spectacular. Look at this. Rebecca, you say it's got such long skinny legs. Indeed she does. And those long skinny legs, quite unlike a human being that is very fast, allow her to move at an astonishing pace. This is just spectacular. Very similarly built, of course, to something like a greyhound. And her speed not only comes from her very long legs, but also from an extremely flexible spine. There's a bird I can't identify. Alarm calling at her. Sounds like a frog. I think we stay right here. There we go. I don't think we'll get a better view, I'm afraid. We can't go off-road in this area. She's totally confiding. All right, while we wait and see what she does, I believe that one of the Birmingham boys is going to try and put his breakfast under a bush. <laughs> 